Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today we're investigating if the new 7.62x54R cartridges will one-tap players to the thorax with different armors. Of the three new bullets added to the game, the two new low-pen versions HP and SP both technically have the ability to one-shot a thorax hitbox due to having damages greater than 85, whereas FMJ at 84 just falls short ever so slightly. But while HP and SP will work against unarmored scavs and naked PMCs, as is so often the case in this game, even a small amount of armor tends to push the damage of lower pen rounds down below 85 as armor reduces the amount of damage that bullets do to their target, even if they go through the armor. Starting with 7.62x54 HP, this guy has 102 damage and 23 penetration, which will cleanly pass through a class 2 armor straight away with a 95% probability. However, even here the damage from the bullet is cut by around 25-30%, to leading to a final damage of about 73, which quite clearly falls significantly short short of the damage required for a one hit kill. The reason for this is that the way armor damage reductions are set up, the bullet being used against the target needs to have significantly more penetration than the armor before close to full damage is achieved. As the penetration of the bullet scales higher with respect to the armor class, more of the base damage of the round is retained on impact, but as a rough rule of thumb you can expect to only achieve close to full damage at 10 times the armor class plus 10. For this example, this would mean that for a class 2 armor we take 2 times 10 which is 20, and then we add another 10 to get 30 pen or above, as the ammo that will have full effectiveness against this armor type. In this way, cartridges like T45 for 7.62x39 and better should deal close to their stated damages against class 2. This fact is one of the major reasons why I suggest wearing class 2 in the first place, because it is certainly better than nothing in case you end up fighting scavs with any of these ammo types with high damage but low penetration, which ranges all the way up from buckshot to these high flesh rounds in the 7.62 calibers. All right, so eight HP can't do the job against class 2 armor, but what about SP? With a decent increase in pen to 27, we move much further towards the full damage mode than with HP, but is it enough based on what we said before? Running the numbers, although we do get more out of this cartridge, we still suffer from approximately 15% damage mitigation, and because the bullet is less damaging at 92 in the first place, the results end up being about the same. The final damage that we can expect to see is around 77, falling short of the one tap by about 8. So sadly, even here, you shouldn't expect to take down any players with either of these bullets if they are wearing any armor whatsoever. This is still the case until about 50% remaining durability on the packer, which was kind of surprising. However, this doesn't render these rounds entirely useless. Many scavs don't wear armor, so can be quickly popped with them, and interestingly this also opens up another avenue for Tarkov Shooter 3. This is the quest from Jaeger, where you have to get 3 bolt action kills under 25 meters, which is typically the fastest to complete on factory due to the proximity of enemy players and the ranges involved. But the earlier that you start this in a wipe, the more players that you will find there completely completely naked, with no armor and equipped with either a single double barrel shotgun for farming more kitted players, or basic pistol to make an attempt at stir up. Against these players, you will be one-shotting them using the most into the chest, so it can be a slightly alternative way to get that quest done. Now, not that you'd be looking to use these bullets over a long range, but just for completeness, if you were shooting at scavs at, say, a decent distance, because these cartridges are still fairly powerful, they tend to retain their damage over range fairly well. Checking out TarkovBallistics.com, which is my favorite resource for looking at damage drop off and that kind of thing is up to date with all of the latest ammo information for 13.5 and we can see that over 100 meters you will still do enough damage to single shot unarmored targets with both of these bullets. HP can technically even do so up to 300 meters. A bit of a niche use case but there you go. So unfortunately our dreams of easy one taps are over with these bullets which is honestly probably quite a good thing given that the SVT exists now but there is still one ammo type that will do this up to class 3 that we've tackled before which is 366 APM and deserves another mention here. Here. While it can only be fired from the VPO 209 rifle and the VPO 215 bolt action with 90 damage and 42 pen, this is one of the very few bullets in the game that will indeed one shot PMCs wearing class 3 armor. I've debunked previously the common misconception that this cartridge can insta kill through class 4, and this is for the same reasons that we've discussed previously. The pen needs to be much higher than 42 to prevent class 4 armors from reducing the damage below 85, so it will not one shot through class 4 armor. But despite this, don't mistake its lack of a one shot on more geared players for not being useful. It still has a greater than 90% chance to penetrate these armors and is effectively a better version of M80 which is locked behind Peacekeeper 4. APM on the other hand can be bought on the flea. It's expensive most definitely, but the fact that it can even be used at level 15 is kind of bonkers. So finally, let's look at a few clips where the VPO Bolty with APM has come in clutch for me on Shoreline recently. Have you done a video on this optic? I did when it came out, yeah. It's not meta because it's not variable. Oh. oh, 
BPO strikes again, baby. That was nasty. We're doing Punisher Part 4, but we don't know where the boys are at. Oh, was that someone? No way that killed him, right? No chance. Dude, that was that was gnarly. No way. Question is if he's on his own. Didn't look like he had a friend. He could have been taking point from someone else, but maybe not. Uh. Oh, I can't even, I can't lie down to loot him. I mean, that's really awkward. Mm. Guess I'll take this. Oh, trooper. Am I being greedy just sitting here and... And that, boys, is why you don't wear class 3. Mm -mm. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. right up here if we can. I'm going to try and use this. The adrenaline will turn off soon. There was a guy over there, it turns out. Is someone going to come mega flank me? I don't think so. Oh. I'm trying to guess is like Heading from where we were. I thought he went down, but I can't see it properly though from here. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can go around this way. Well done. Oh, that was a hit, surely. Ow. It's not helpful, Scavs. Haven't heard this guy since. Since he was wandering around up on those rocks. So I'm going to try and creep down here. I really don't want to get shot from up there. I don't want to get shot from anywhere, really, but... And behind would be extremely awkward and frustrating. What the hell? I've been forced out of my hidey spot. Wait, is he dead or looting? Cause that's not the guy that... Wait, hold on, that's not the guy I killed. I don't understand. There's, there's another body there. Oh, uh, was that somebody who got... Did he get shot from there? I heard a sniping shot, but it wasn't at me. Oh, okay. Count the body till the last ten minutes. That feels like a big waste of time though, doesn't it? Rip gigabit PFZ. You know I'm gonna go for it. How the hell did this guy get shot from here? This is the first dude that we did.
That guy's moosing. I hope he's gone. Put it in his bag. Whoa! No, come on. He's gonna get me killed. Yeah, the RFB is nowhere to be seen. I mean, it's plausible somebody could have come in and stolen it, isn't it? Possible. Did someone steal the RFB? Has the guy been and gone? I guess so. Nowhere to be seen. Yeah, no tags. Yeah. Someone came in and yoiked it. From the guy that we were hunting who got killed. Oh well. So next up, go and check out my video on level 2 trader weapons if you haven't already. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons and as always, have fun in your raids.